Hey everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at Four Honors Closed Alpha on the Potato Masher. If you don't know, the Potato Masher is a $375 PC custom built in 2014 and designed to compete against the PS4 for the rest of its life cycle to show that PCs can be just as good or sometimes better than a console for about the same amount of money. But today we're just looking at the PC version of the Alpha. There's no PS4 comparison, which is normal. I never do any comparisons till the final version of the game releases because you never know what might change with frame rates, resolutions, or visual options in between an Alpha, Beta, and final release. And occasionally, even sometimes after release, depending on the game. We can assume that the console versions of For Honor will most likely target 30 FPS. I haven't seen anywhere that they're confirmed for 60, but this game hasn't really been on my radar, so it's possible I don't know everything that's been announced for it yet. I manually locked the frame rate at 30 FPS, and I set all the settings to high on the masher, and in the 1v1 dual game mode, it ran very, very well, and you can see there's plenty of GPU power left over. It's not having a hard time at all maintaining 30 FPS. Now what is interesting is that you're going to see is Core 1 has very, very high usage between 90 and 100% pretty much all of the time, which leads me to think that this is a poorly optimized game because it's very, very single-threaded, and anyone with a slow clock speed on their processor or a slow IPC on their processor is probably gonna have issues. But what's interesting is when I unlocked the frame rate and still kept the settings at high, the load spread out a little more evenly across the cores. Now, Core 4 is still not doing a whole lot of anything, but Cores 2 and 3 are pulling up a little bit of the slack now, and Core 1's usage is not nearly as high, which is very, very interesting, and I want to test that farther in the final release. But what's more interesting is how this game is almost able to hit 60 FPS at high settings on the masher, which I honestly was not expecting. Now, of course, this is only in the 1v1 game mode, so to test it further, I hopped into the larger 4v4 with a lot of AI Dominion mode, and it could not maintain 60 FPS at high settings. So I dropped the settings down to medium, and much to my surprise, it still mostly maintained 60, even with large numbers of AI on screen and a lot going on in a fairly decently sized map. And this is a pretty good looking game. It's not gonna set any records or probably win any huge awards, but most games that come out these days, at least AAA ones, at least look pretty good. And this game, I would say, looks a little bit better than average so far. So I was pretty impressed. Now, of course, there are some frame rate drops because this game still is an alpha and I didn't really mess with the settings that much. I normally try to stick to presets, especially for pre-release testing because you never know what's gonna happen and there's no official drivers for the game yet. But as you can see, the load is spread out a lot more evenly across three cores now. Core 4 still not doing much, but RAM usage is staying very, very reasonable, and the frame rate is mostly staying at 60, with of course high GPU usage. So in the final release, I'll probably want to do a few tweaks to that. But I could totally play this at medium settings and 60 FPS on the masher and be pretty happy. So. Color me cautiously optimistic about how the game runs. Now, of course, as you guys know, I'm not very good at most of the games I test. I don't spend enough time with them to get good at them. And For Honor is certainly no exception. I got my butt handed to me over and over again. Uh, but the game was a little bit more fun than I was expecting it to be. The combat was a little deeper than I expected it to be. And it certainly ran better than I was expecting. Now, it is a Ubisoft game and it is in pre-release. So I wouldn't get too excited. I wouldn't rush out and do a pre-order. And I wouldn't assume too much. But I'm cautiously optimistic and I actually am looking forward to testing the final of the release of the game now and uh, I'll let you guys know more closer to release. What'd you guys think? I'm curious to hear in the comments section, both with performance and the actual gameplay itself. Did you enjoy For Honor's Closed Alpha if you got into it? And if you didn't, why didn't you enjoy it? I'm curious and I'd love to talk about it in the comments section, but for now, consider giving the video a like if you liked it, subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you guys later.